What is going on YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Kai Guy and I post every single day now. It's a lot of work, but I love doing it. Anyways, let's get right into today's video, which is about the Volkswagen ID7 sedan. If you don't know Volkswagen's electric line, they have the ID4, which is a smaller SUV that's fully electric. I've been inside it. It looks pretty nice, um, but I'm not sure it's really worth the, the price tag, um, but it does look very cool and it looks very spacious for what it is. Although they now have released a ID7, which is now debuted and it has a very cool paint job, which I'll throw up on screen right now. So this will be Volkswagen's next EV on the lineup and it just debuted at CES 2023 with this awesome paint job. So this will likely become a 2024 model sedan. And to me, it looks like if Hyundai had a baby with Lexus in a way. The rear lights remind me of Hyundai. The interior is very luxurious like uh, Lexus or Mercedes. And I really like what they've done with this vehicle. Continuing the Volkswagen lineup, it looks very similar to something like the Jetta or the Passat. It looks very similar, but more electrified and um, illustrious version of it. So with this unique camouflage, unlike the other car testing camouflages that you've seen on supercars or any cars alike, this camouflage really hides the details and makes all of these different combinations of colors and graphics and everything to really throw your mind off. And I like what they're doing with it. And I like that we get to see more of the car and I'm excited for the unwrapped version, which is coming in the next few months. So with this being said, you want to know the interior of this vehicle. The interior of this vehicle is touch centric. You know, all those, all those tacky buttons are no more in this ID7. And I really like what they're doing. I just hope they don't leave a lot of fingerprints and make everything piano black because that is terrible to me. I hate those controls, but it does boast a 15 inch touchscreen display and I'm really excited because that's like that's like almost a laptop size it's amazing what they've done but I'm excited for that interior piece it also has a heads-up display which is pretty much normal on all cars these days and it has augmented reality built into it so the air vents on this thing are going to be just like the Taycan which is a Porsche electric model it's just gonna be similar to that Although they have smart air vents, which can sense when the driver is approaching to the vehicle and whether to cool it down or to heat the car up, which I think is a pretty nice feature because it's kind of like remote start for your vehicle, but it's getting the vehicle prepped and ready for you. Um, and as a driver, I would really appreciate that rather than having to press the touch of a button. So a little bit more about this paint job. This paint job is not going to be, you know, released to the public at all but it features 40 different paint layers. This, I don't know how you can do 40 different paint layers on such a, such a regular car, I guess you could say, because this car is nothing special. It's not like a supercar unveiling. And for 40 different paint coats, it's pretty awesome. So with the paint being 22 separate layers, the top is the only thing that's electrified. Everything else is painted and with a little cherry on top, some of these panels can actually be synced up to music. I'm not sure how that works as they haven't shown a display of it, but I'm pretty sure that this took a lot of time and effort to create this 40 different layer paint job. That's just a lot of work for such a irregular car. Now the company of course does a little self promotion and includes a QR code as you can see on the passenger rear side. Now this QR code obviously goes to the VW website, which is a little self promo for all the hard work they've done into this paint job. So despite this looking like a Volkswagen Passat, a more electrified version of it, it will include the same platform as the ID4, which is the smaller SUV I talked about, and the ID Buzz, which is the electrified Volkswagen bus. We actually don't know any of the powertrain details as of yet. They did release an expected range that they would target, which is 435 miles of range, which is pretty good for something like a small sedan, which I, I really like that it's including 435 miles of range because that is a lot when you're considering it's on one charge. Now with this being said, 
it may be skewed because 435 sounds like a lot. It may be reduced to about 350. They are pretty optimistic in their details, but we'll just have to wait and see once the powertrain details get released. The release date is expected to be 2024 with more release details coming in the second quarter of 2023. And I'm really excited for this car because it's a new electric car, even though it looks just like the Volkswagen Passat. I love their electric lineup and I like the cool things that they're doing, especially when it comes to the ID Buzz, which is the electric Volkswagen bus. I really like it and I'm excited what's to come with Volkswagen. While we still have to learn more about the powertrain and all the other details, we can expect a price of around $35,000, which is around the starting price for all the EVs nowadays, but we'll have to see what the top line trim holds and whether it is worth the money. Anyways, with that being said, this is the end of today's video. Make sure if you liked it, make sure to give a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another brand new upload.